We've all been told how important daily exercise is to good health. It can be challenging, though, to find an activity that keeps you coming back day after day. But Early Show special contributor Taryn Winterbrill is here with the story of a fun sport that is getting people off the couch and outside. Great to have you with us, Taryn. Good morning, Rebecca. I'm obsessed with this game. It's changed <laughs> my life, let me tell you. It's the sport with the funny name. It's called pickleball, and it's a craze that is sweeping the nation. Just like me, from the moment you give it a shot, you'll be hooked. Part tennis, part ping pong, and part badminton. Pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in America. It got its unusual name over 40 years ago from a cocker spaniel named Pickles, who used to chase down balls hit by the game's inventor. So how many pickleball courts do you have here? We have 108 courts in the villages. Here at the Villages in Central Florida, the pickleball capital of the world. Hi, nice to meet you. Hi, Karen. I'm Coach Mo. Lifelong tennis coach turned pickleball coach Mo Mo Session elbows out in front of you. has promised to school me on the finer points of a game devotees call addictive. Good shot. Like many fanatics, almost all of Mo's days begin and end with two hours of pickleball. As long as you're playing with three people of equal ability, doesn't matter how good you are, you'll have a fun time. Played on a surface one-third that of a tennis court and using many of the same rules, this sport is low impact and easier on the joints, one of the main reasons older players are drawn to it. <laughs> Joanne and Dennis Ash are in their 70s. Hey, gang. Do you guys normally play as a team or as opponents? Opponent. Either or. Uh, <laughs> opponents. Opponent. And do, do you kick his butt? Always. Uh, <laughs> but pickleball isn't just for old timers. It's sort of a multi-generational game. The whole family can play. Yes. After some more instruction from Coach Mo, you guys ready to go down? I was ready for a pickleball throwdown. Yes. And you could hear as the 15-minute game got going, I was pretty out of breath. <laughs> Getting plenty of exercise, no doubt. What a yeah. 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 Sixty-one. I love this game. <laughs> Just give it a try and you'll be hooked on that sweet sport with the sour name. Taste of victory. <laughs> I love this game. We had so much fun. I'm a pickleball nut, literally. Coach Mo <laughs> came home from Arizona last month with a silver medal, get this, from the National Pickleball Tournament. And these days he's got plenty of competition because according to the USA Pickleball Association, that's the USA PA, there are more than 100,000 active players, myself included. 100,000. It's growing, yes. It is growing. Yeah. And you used to play tennis, so how does this compare? Right, okay. I love tennis, but I super love pickleball. Here's the deal. <laughs> I played doubles in high school and I would be very scared at net because that ball would be wailed at me. Sure. So this is a much lighter yes. ball. It makes a great sound. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt you. And the rallies last a lot longer because it's such a light ball. It's a smaller court and there's not much surface and to run around And it looks like on. it's less expensive too than tennis. It is. Actually, go to the USAPA.org, which is linked to our website, and you can buy all the equipment. It's about, I'd say, $20 for a wooden racket. This is composite. It's about 50 to 60. The balls are a few bucks. But it is so much fun, Rebecca. I cannot. It's, like I said, it's <laughs> you changed make it my look life. like a lot of fun. I am addicted. We, I mean, this piece was about two minutes or so. Mm -hmm. We were playing for five hours. We had to go to catch a plane and I was like, no, I want to stay. <laughs> well, we're so glad you brought it here to us. Taryn Winterbrill, thanks so right. much. Thanks.